Claire Oak. So this is video two of our launch of Microsoft Teams. Within this video, I'm going to show you where you can find your child's work, how to complete the work, and then how to hand your child's work in. So to be able to do this, you need to be signed into your child's individual Microsoft Teams account. If you're not sure how to do this, please watch video one of Microsoft Teams on our Fair Oak Junior School YouTube channel, and it will show you exactly how you need to get into your child's account. Okay, so once you are successfully signed into Microsoft Teams, you will see down the left hand side, you have buttons for activity, teams, assignment and files. Just simply click on the assignments to find your child's work. Once you have clicked on assignments, you will be able to see all the work that has been assigned to your child for that week. Your child's work will then be split into subject specific folders, for example, maths, science, topic and English and any other subjects that they need to complete for that week. On each work folder, you'll also be able to see the day that the work is due. You will also be able to see if you've gone past the due date of the child's specific piece of work. To see the work that your child needs to complete, just simply click on the subject. It will then take you to a file where you will see the title, you'll see the instructions, and you will see all the work laid out below. Within the folder, you will see a title that says reference materials. This is your child's PowerPoints, YouTube links, and any documents that they need for the week. You simply click on them, for example, the YouTube video, and it will take you to the YouTube channel where you will be able to access that day's video. You can then click on the PowerPoint to access the same as you would on the Fair Oak Junior School website. It will then open up a document. This document is not editable and you just simply need to click through as you would a normal PowerPoint to be able to access the slides. You can see that the same as Fair Oak Junior School website, it's still set out in days. Within the days, there may be daily practices, the same with English, there may be daily work that you need to do. Because this work is not editable, you simply just print it, complete it, but you do not need to submit this to your class teacher. When you are done with the slides for the day, you simply click close on the top right hand side. You will see underneath reference materials that there is a subtitle that says my work. Now within that, that is the work that your child needs to complete and upload for the class teacher to see. Once you have clicked on it, it will open up a Word document and as you can see, this Word document can be edited so you simply type into the answer boxes using the slides from the reference material. Please be aware that this is an example video so sheets may look different within your child's year group. Once you have completed the sheet, you will see on the top right hand side there is a button that says Close. You simply just click on the Close button and your child's work will remain there. Then if you wanted to edit or change anything, you simply click back on the document and it will look exactly the same as when you left it. So you can continue then typing or adding to your answers or changing anything. Then when you are completed again, you do not need to save anything. You simply just click close. You may have more than one piece of work to submit. For example, you can see here there's a second one, which is the Fluent in Five sheet for year five. As this is a working document, you can edit it again. You simply just fill in the boxes day by day. Remember to click close on the top right hand side of the corner and your work will remain there depending on the day. I'm quickly going to show you by filling in the whole form so that you can then submit it to the teacher. Once you've done filling in the whole sheet, you then simply just click close again and then your work is all completed. When you open it again, you'll be able to see that it's still there. So do not worry about saving anything. When you've done all the assignments for that week, you simply click hand in. Now this says hand in late as this is an example video. So hand in late and then your work will be submitted. You'll be able to see a little cartoon there that show you that it's been successful. As well as that, next to the hand in button, you'll be able to see the date and time that your child's work has been submitted. So it's been submitted, you'll be able to see that it's now disappeared from the assigned part of your child's account. The child then may want to complete their English work, so simply click on the English file where you can find reference materials again, and then underneath in the My Work file, there will be work that they need to complete and upload. So simply click on that. This is then a document that you can edit. You can see that I've already typed something there, so it's remembered it. Um, I will just do a quick example of something you can type. And then again, you will click close. If you then want to go back in and edit it, you simply click on it again and your work should remain there. Once you have then completed it, you would click close on the right. And then when it is completely done, you're happy with it, you can click hand in. Again, you get a little cartoon and then it's given you the date and time that your work has successfully been handed in. 
just to make you aware that YouTube links are not available until the day that they are needed. So if they are not working, please make sure that it's the right day for the right video. Okay, so as you can see, you've got your assigned work here with the arrow drop down. Underneath, you have all your completed work. All you need to do is simply drop down that arrow to see the work that you have completed. If you want to edit, change or amend any work you've completed, you simply need to click onto the file within the completed part. As you can see, it's got a tick there to say it's been done. And then on the top right hand corner, you would simply click undo hand in to get your work back to be able to edit. You will then be able to see it again up in the assigned work. As you've now undone the hand in, you'll be able to see it's back in the signed. You can then simply click hand in again once you've made your edits. And if you need to change something again, you undo the hand in and then it will go back to the completed aspects of your file. As well as all the subject specific work, you will also be able to find a copy of the week's timetable within the assigned element of your child's Microsoft Teams. This document cannot be edited, but you can simply click on it and then you'll be able to see the work that your child needs to carry out that week. Please be aware this is an example, so this may look different for different year groups as this is just a template timetable for this example video. This document can be accessed at any part during the week. When you're done reading it, you simply just click close. There will also be a copy of this still on Ferrick Junior School website for the next two weeks. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, queries, or just need any support with Microsoft Teams, there is a Zoom run by Ferrick Junior School staff on Thursday the 11th of February 2021. Information from this Zoom has been sent out to you today via a letter.